Hey guys, so today I'm going to tell you the reasons why I have moved away from Bluehost and into the world of Amazon Web Services. I've had a few different blogs, all WordPress blogs, and I've hosted some of them on Bluehost and some of them on Amazon Web Services. Here are eight reasons why I'd recommend you choose Amazon Web Services instead of Bluehost to host your WordPress blog. Number one, Bluehost is more expensive in my experience than Amazon Web Services. Um, from my experience, Bluehost will often give you a, you know, a deal for a few months to kind of get you hooked in. You know, maybe you just have to pay a few dollars a month for the first year or for the first half a year, and then they'll bump up the price to be, you know, ten to fifteen dollars a month. And once you get locked in at that price, you're not able to really change it. You're only able to increase. You're not able to decrease it. On the other side, Amazon Web Services, from my experience, you know, getting a EC2 instance, uh, a, you know, T2 uh, Nano costs about five dollars a month, and honestly, for most like you know mom and pop blogs out there, that's probably enough horsepower to run your website. If you have a little bit more popular website, maybe you're getting one or two thousand visitors a day, you might upgrade it to a T2 Micro, which is about ten dollars a month. If you're getting more than that, maybe you'll upgrade to a T2 Small uh, to host several thousand websites uh, visitors a day. The nice thing about Amazon Web Services is that you pay only for what you use, whereas you know in Bluehost you're locked in paying a high price every month, and that price remains the same even if you don't have much traffic for your website. Uh, on Amazon, you pay only for what you use. Number two, and this is probably the most important reason to choose Amazon Web Services, faster load speed, less latency. I've noticed a huge difference in how fast my websites load on Amazon Web Services versus Bluehost. Like maybe about a half second to a second in load speed. Whereas, you know, Amazon Web Services is almost instantaneous and Bluehost sometimes takes, you know, a second or two to load the website, it seems. Of course, that all depends on how many images, you know, on, on multiple factors, but from my experience, Amazon Web Services takes the cake. Another big reason to switch from Bluehost to Amazon Web Services is that you have so much more control uh, over your website. The console is better, it's less confusing. I remember with Bluehost, there were like a couple different consoles or C panels, it would get all confusing. I had a hard time backing up and restoring my own website. On Amazon, you have like all the power in the world. If you want to upgrade your server so you can handle a million visitors one day and 10,000 the next day, you can just with the click of the button, you can do that. You can upgrade, downgrade at any time and pay only for what you use. Also, if your website ever crashes, you can just simply reset your server with a click of a button. You know, just stop it, reboot it, start it. And in one minute, you've got your website back up and running. With Bluehost, on the other hand, your website crashes, you're kind of in the dark and you just have to wait for, you know, Bluehost personnel to go in and fix the server and sometimes that could be for hours. Another reason is that there's less downtime with Amazon Web Services. From my experience, there's basically no downtime. It's super rare that there's downtime. Maybe if you have like a very, very small server and a huge traffic spike, it might like make your server need to be restarted, but it's super rare. On the other hand, there's been times where with, when my website was hosted with Bluehost, where the website would go down for up to about half a day before the people reset the server and got it back up running. And, and I just remember that being terribly frustrating. You know, you're trying to build a website and you send people there and you know there's thousands of people coming to your website and it just won't load for hours. So less downtime is definitely a perk. Another reason I would recommend using Amazon Web Services is that they have better customer service. Amazon is known for having amazing customer service. Bluehost, on the other hand, they have some terrible reviews out there. People that just have terrible experiences with them. Uh, that's not representative of their service all the time, but there have been experiences that have been negative where people have had their website down for a long time. Also, another tactic I don't like that Bluehost does is they make it so you can upgrade and pay more for your website to have more hosting resources available, but they make it so you can't downgrade. At least I haven't found a way to downgrade. So I might have the pro version that costs me $15 a month, 
and I'll ask them, you know, can I downgrade it to the basic version that's like a little cheaper? And they'll be like, sorry, we aren't able to do that. And to me, that's just really poor customer service uh, just to make a buck. But another thing to keep in mind with Bluehost is that they pay very high affiliate commissions. So YouTubers and others are incentivized to point you towards Bluehost and not Amazon because I don't think there's any affiliate commissions for referring people to Amazon Web Services. But if you refer people to Bluehost, you could make thousands of dollars. Pat Flynn from Smart Passive Income, uh, I love his podcast, but he'll he's an affiliate for Bluehost and he'll point people there to start their first website. But you know he's incentivized to say that because it pays him a lot of money to get people to sign up through his link. Another reason is to just consider how popular Amazon Web Services is over Bluehost. So much of the internet runs off of Amazon servers and not much of it runs on Bluehost, mostly just mom and pop websites. You know, companies like Netflix, Reddit, Pinterest, Expedia, Quora, Airbnb. You don't hear about any big companies that run off of Bluehost, at least in my experience. There might be one or two, but I, I'm not aware of any. Yeah, another reason that I like Amazon Web Services is because it's not hard. I think a lot of people have this misconception that setting up your website on Amazon Web Services is going to be difficult. That it's, you have to be a programmer to figure it out. And while it's true that Amazon Web Services does not have the most user-friendly interface, it has so many bells and whistles, it's mind-boggling. Um, if you just watch a simple 10-minute YouTube video, you should be able to figure out how to create an Amazon EC2 instance. There's basically a plug and play, kind of like a plugin, where you can just like install WordPress with the click of a button. And voila, you have a website on Amazon Web Services and it has WordPress. You log in, you edit your WordPress website. It's not rocket science. Honestly, I don't really think it's harder to set up a website with Amazon Web Services than on Bluehost. And you will forever be grateful that you did it if you just take 10 minutes, watch a YouTube tutorial video, follow along with it, set up your website on Amazon Web Services from the beginning, and you can thank me later. Another reason why I'd recommend using Amazon Web Services is that in today's economy, it's not really marketable if you say, well, I've, I'm familiar with Bluehost. You know, I've hosted the website on Bluehost and I can, you know, I can create websites on Bluehost and manage them on Bluehost because that's not really relevant to, to your employers because they probably aren't going to want to host their website on Bluehost. On the other hand, being familiar with Amazon Web Services and being able to run company websites on Amazon Web Services, I believe is a very marketable skill. And lastly, but not least, I'd say another reason to choose Amazon Web Services is just that overall, I believe it's more reliable and safe, easy to back up. I think your data is in better hands with Amazon than with Bluehost. Obviously, Amazon is a massive company. Bluehost is also a big company, but Amazon is so much bigger, they make it easy to back up your content by yourself. You're not in the mer at the mercy of a Bluehost employee. Uh, you can do things immediately. You don't have to wait on a customer service telephone call where you're on hold for a while. Um, you can just log into your console, do what you need to do, create a backup turn off your server, turn it on. Well, there you have it. Those are some of my main reasons why I would strongly encourage you to consider putting your website or your blog on Amazon Web Services instead of Bluehost. You know, I think Bluehost is probably an amazing company. They're probably doing their very best. And I think really any hosting services nowadays are probably a lot better than they were 10 years ago when I started blogging. But I will say overall, I'm quite confident that I'll never regret being on Amazon Web Services and I am sure glad that my website does not run on Bluehost anymore. I think it's a, a better product and for equal or better price on Amazon. I hope this video has been helpful. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.